Welcome at another episode of uh, Paul's model uh, train stuff. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, clean an uh, old Lima engine. This is actually take number three because the first take was completely out of focus and the second one lasted 40 minutes. Um, I don't have any engines left that are, uh, are in need of cleaning so I'm just going to demonstrate it with this one. Um, so you won't see a lot of dirt coming off but uh, trust me that, that has been it was very dirty so if you have an engine like this first thing you do is you twist these uh, copper plates up and it reveals a tiny little spring make sure to put that apart somewhere that you won't lose it now usually the um, there we go. This comes along with it. If not, tip over the engine, get it out. Second one here. Now, I've been opening this earlier today, so they haven't really been pushed in. Uh, they, ha they haven't had many dri much driving, so these are not entirely lodged in yet. These are. Um, for putting the power actually on the engine they're pretty worn out uh, you should get new ones for this to make this engine run even better now once you get those out it's time to open up the engine itself you remove these two screws this is to remove the top plate And on the bottom, unscrew these two screws. That should get you access to the wheels and the copper that's getting the power from the wheels. So now you can take this off. And what I usually do is just carefully take this and slide that out. After put that aside. This is the inside of the engine. The first I'm going to take out is it's not a stator so it must be the rotor. I'm going to put that in some IPA alcohol. I use IPA alcohol for most of my cleanings because um, it re reacts with um, dirt with, with um, with fatty substances, with oily substances, but not with plastics, nor with any metals. So it's it's really uh, it's safe to use on almost everything. If I would use something else, I probably end up melting um, melting down one of my trains because of um, misuse. So get one of these inside this engine. There's a ring with the magnets. Um, I've seen people use quite a lot of force to get them out but usually you can just grab them on, on the bottom and from there they come out and otherwise there's a little pin on the top you can also push that down a bit to get more force to get it to tilt out just just get some of the IPA and just clean the inside of the magnet just to make sure no obvious dirt is some so, so no big dirt is in there Usually, no, not a lot comes off this. Now, on this side, there's a little V-shaped wedge here that keeps all the wheels in sh in 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 in, uh, in their position. And you can just t lift that up a bit on one side. Um, put a little screwdriver underneath. And from the top you can pull it out. There you go. There you have the wheels. Now these are, have been greased up already. I'm going to remove that all by also putting that in the IPA. In the meanwhile this rotor has been soaking in the alcohol long enough. 
especially because it is it's not that dirty. Just get an old toothbrush, grab a bit of that, and as if you were brushing your teeth, just give it a good brush. Make sure it looks nice. Since this is alcohol, it will evaporate pretty pretty fast, so you don't have to dry it. I am going to dry it to get it out of, uh, of my hands. It, it will dry out your skin, that's about it. Now, <clears throat> I'll get another one. You can see these grooves here. These should be free of any dirt. And they, it's at this. These are the insulators between the three plates. If a lot of the um, from the brushes, these are made of carbon. So if a lot of carbon gets in the, in between there, they start to uh, conduct electricity, making your engine consume more power and run less efficient and be more noisy. So just get a screwdriver and carefully make sure there's no dirt in between there. So. Uh, this one is already looking pretty clean. So once you got that sorted out, make sure you first put the ring, put the magnet back in, put this back in. Now, regarding these. This stuff is just great for getting all the grease out, so I can show you how to oil up the engine. The motor, I should say. So getting these out and putting them on a cloth. Best would be, by the way, not to use this, but um, a little jewelry, jewelry cleaner. You get them from eBay for a few dollars or euros or pounds or whatever you use. Um, Mine is uh, still on the way. That will keep all the stuff moving, so you don't have to uh, do much manual work. Now, for these, same as the motor, get your old toothbrush, toothbrush out. Don't use it to brush your teeth afterwards. Just give him a good scrub, getting any of the remaining dirt off. Now, so far, this goes for most of the the engines, the motors. Take them apart, make sure this is nice and clean. If possible, get all these off, uh, clean them, and then putting them back together. But specifically for a Lima, they have these 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 molding um, marks here. That's where they got out of the mold when they were um, when they were made. And uh, in the older, older Lima motors, you find that these have not been carefully removed. So get a good sharp knife like this. And just scrape any of the remaining plastic yeah, edges off so it's a bit smoother. Now, I have been doing these and... Um, Actually, a lot of plastic came off when I did that, so it's, it's uh, can't really demonstrate that well. Except that maybe one of them had this very, very obvious dot. If I could find that now, I really removed that well. Let's see. So there you can see there was one very big blob of plastic. Cut it off, make sure it's nice and smooth, and that will make the engine less noisy. I say less because it will not sound as smooth as uh, engines, uh, motors from other brands. Uh, these little ones are quite hard to get out and get back in, but uh, you just put them like that, uh, put my finger on them and twist the wheels and either they will fall off 
slide off or they will actually snap right into place like that um, now I'm gonna already apply some oil it's better to use grease uh, than oil because the oil will spatter a lot um, I happen to not have grease um, I have a little test track here it will splatter the oil all over this test track that's fine that's why it's here if you're gonna apply this oil and put it back in a model immediately and start driving with it the whole inside of your of your model train will be covered with this stuff um, therefore it's better to use this grease as less uh, give less spatters keep clean, things cleaner keep your track cleaner uh, but as I said I'm gonna take the risk on this test track and um, I once it has run down uh, uh, up and down a few times it's okay um, it's all uh, greased up oiled up and it's not going to go out, come out again so I'm going to apply some here on the axis and the connection points on the where it goes in the frame to make the wheels run smoothly I already did here on the axles although it doesn't look like I did this one on the axles no need to overdo it and I think I just did next put make these bigger ones in here and again I'm gonna oil this part here but I'm also gonna oil in here between these two wheels between the wheels here to make sure that's all smoothly running apply that here on forehand it's easier same goes for that part over here all right now putting this one on top like that again applying some grease here and then you get your v-shaped metal thing back just you can kind of click it in place like that make sure it moves over oh nope 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 put it on one of the dots here one of the pockets here and it, sh uh, it went so smoothly earlier mm. oh, come on why won't you go now maybe I have it the wrong way around I don't know if that would actually matter but it does matter if it won't do what it, uh, what it should, just move it around. I'm making sure that the wheels are moving, the motor is moving, everything feels good, feels great. And just a few droplets here on these axes or the, on these contact points. That should should do it. Since I'm not going to build this in, I can also I'll always apply a bit more. Do I need to? Next, it's just reverse pushing this stuff in. That's the correct way. Yes, putting this plate back on, getting this. Now check this wire should be on the rear as should this no I'm first gonna mm, yeah I'm first gonna do screw that tight
That's one. Nope, stay in. And come on, get over here. There we go, number two. bottom plate on I noticed that in the uh, previous takes that it actually matters these four screws they seem exactly identical but if you mess them up then it's quite hard to get them in the engine so try not to mm, mix them up you'll notice immediately so that's the bottom part regarding these brushes um, no not that one not one of these just clean them off and even now after it, it I ran it for maybe once or twice up and down the track and even now some dirt comes off so Give them good clean, a good wipe, put that in here, very carefully get a little spring, put that right on, no no, don't jump on me, put that right on top. Now, you push down the spring against, let's see, this copper plate and you push that all the way down. Don't push it too far, leave some room in between this piece of copper and the spring. It's needed to uh, absorb all the uh, roughness of the, of the engine. Same for this, give it a wipe, a more thorough one than I just did, if it's really dirty. Get the little spring, don't try to drop it like I do. Put it in, oh. Put it in here. Oh, come on. And again, push it against the metal, and there you go. It's assembled again. Now, let me... Get this. Quickly just hook that up. That's how it would look like inside an engine. Give it some power. Is it connected? Oh, it's not on the rails. And there we go. Now, this rails is not very clean. I didn't clean the uh, the wheels uh, of this front car. The wheels of the rear one were actually pretty clean. I'll do a video about how to clean these wheels another time. But that's how you take this apart, clean it, remove all the little noise makers that were left behind from the factory and uh, get it up and running again. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope to uh, to see you next time. Feel free to subscribe.
if you like my channel and what I do. And um, well, it was uh, a learnful uh, experience. Thanks for watching.